At the beginning of 2021, the world missed one extremely important and profound moment. A new Russian spacecraft, Arctic M, was launched into a highly elliptical orbit. The satellite is supposed to solve tasks of operative meteorology, hydrology, monitoring of climate and environment in the Arctic region, also to ensure constant monitoring of the northern Russian territory and the seas of the Arctic Ocean, as well as relaying signals from Kospa's Sarsat system. Most Earth remote sensing satellites are located in geostationary or geosynchronous orbits far enough from the surface of our planet. Geostationary orbit located 35,000 km above the equator, perfect option for meteorological satellites. From that distance, Earth is seen absolutely perfect, and while some details are hidden from human sight, still best option to observe weather in most regions of the world. Since 2011, Russian spacecraft Electro-L works in that particular orbit. Today, two satellites launched in 2015 and 2019 works in that orbit. Electro-L supplies Russian scientists and meteorologists with the highest quality air surface images except for polar and circumpolar regions. Geostationary orbits located above the equator of the Earth and all northern regions are not visible. In order to fix the situation, satellites of Arctic M series were made. They will operate in a specially highly elliptical Molnia type orbit. This orbit more reminds of stretched Alps, and most of the time, satellites, since the net point of orbit, which is most distant from Earth, Apogee, which for the orbit of Molnia passes over the northern hemisphere, it allows Arctic M satellites to observe the Arctic regions of our planet and send high precision images. Arctic M reminds its processor Electro L and is built on the same navigator space platform. There are only a few differences. For example, Arctic has to overcome the Van Allen radiation zone four times a day, located at an altitude four to seventeen thousand kilometers above the Earth's surface. Just because of that, spacecraft has special threatened radiation protection. How well Arctic sees the Earth? Once in fifteen thirty minutes, spacecraft shoots the Earth a resolution of 1 to 7 km per pixel, it means objects less than a kilometer in size cannot be detected, but huge cyclones and weather fronts, cloudy areas in general, everything that is required to compose detailed weather maps are perfectly visible. Resolution accurate depends on the scanning range. Arctic M can operate in both infrared and visible ranges. The infrared range is crucial during work in winter, when there is a polar night in northern territories. Moreover, spacecraft measures temperature with an accuracy of 0.1 degrees, transmits data between ground-based meteorological stations, and Cosmos Sarsa system retransmits signals from emergency buoys that are currently equipped on all vessels. In order to provide constant, non-stop surveillance, at least two Arctic M vehicles are required. It is assumed that the second one will be launched in orbit at the end of 2021. These satellites should serve at least seven years. So, why does Russia need such a close meteorological observation of the Arctic? First of all, for composing the most accurate weather map, especially in the winter, Arctic cyclones have huge effect on the weather of a territory of Russia. Just to remind, recent months. With the help from Arctic Assyria spacecraft, it will be possible to predict the arrival of cyclones with much greater accuracy. Besides, study of Arctic territories has huge importance for scientists. How much does the global climate change affect the Arctic? Territories. How does the annual air temperature change in polar regions? Satellite will make possible to make accurate forecasts for the upcoming years and will improve understanding of processes taking place of the Arctic Ocean. Good appropriate weather conditions in the region will also be an important factor for the operation of the Northern Sea Route, through which more and more ships transport gas and that cargo every year. The geological map of these latitudes will allow to determine the best time for escorting caravans and even monitor the general ice situation in the region. It all shows that Russia slowly implements its Arctic program step by step making this region more and more convenient for work, navigation and mining. Most scientists agree that in coming years the climate in northern regions of Russia will become more and more soft and in the long term it may become much more comfortable for life. In addition, it means a big time to use this opportunity for the country in the most efficient way. Also, previously inaccessible minerals to drive caravans of ships, by the way, the route from Germany to China by the Northern Sea Route is almost one and a half times shorter than the classic version, 
through the Suez Canal and Mediterranean Sea. Today Russia is the only country in the world that has a fleet of nuclear icebreakers. Arctic Dive Ships Project 22220 are capable of breaking through ice up to 2.8 meters thick and the recently laid down nuclear icebreaker leader Project 10510 will be able to break through ice up to 4.3 meters thick. Work on improving the quality of life are in full swing. The floating nuclear power plant Academic Lomonasa for the first season provided light and heat to the inhabitants of the polar city of Pavik. Russian space program of work with the North Turks will not end the Arctic M. Today, a new spacecrafts are being created to operate in low Earth orbits and to monitor the ice cover. They will also help in the ice escort of icebreakers and ships. Program of spacecrafts was supposed to provide the region with communications and broadband internet already was announced. Russia is going to Arctic and is doing it seriously with confidence and with space technologies. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell.